What's up guys, so today we are going to be looking at some tips and tricks, this one in particular being how to farm Dark Elixir. So, this is the most scarce resource in Clash of Clans, and it seems like there's a direct correlation between the amount of Dark Elixir a base or a player has when you're raiding them, and the amount of trophies they have so as you go higher in trophies the more dark elixir they have so obviously if you're looking to farm dark elixir you're not going to want to be in like silver league maybe maybe towards like the top of gold one but you should really be i think at least two thousand trophies minimum then you could get i'd say around a thousand dark elixir rate if you look it probably more if you look a little bit longer if you get lucky uh maybe yeah, maybe, yeah, probably like 3,000 if you're lucky. So, I would probably recommend farming for Dark Elixir anyway, for, anywhere from uh, Master 3 to Champions and even higher. Ma uh, Master 3 starts off with that great bonus, 500 Dark Elixir. And there are also many dead bases there, many players with full Dark Elixir storages. And it's like that the whole time. It, it just depends on the bonus that you want. So I uh, currently am farming in champions, and my attacks uh, are going pretty well. I'm going to show you guys two replays, and then we are going to do two live attacks. So in this one right here, we are actually baiting the clan castle. That's weird. I haven't done that in a while, because it's usually so far in. So while this raid plays, I'll talk about it a little, and I'm going to explain what you're going to want to look for when you're farming for Dark Elixir. So if you're farming in Master 3 and above, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look for a base that has a lot of Dark Elixir like this one. This one has 3,000. There, um, one where you could easily get the 50% and one where you have the right troops to take on the base. So we're lightning spelling the mortar because we're using all archers and for some reason I had 10 minions. I think those were for donation, but I didn't get them off. So... We're going to lure in the Dragon Clan Castle into the corner. We're going to take out that archer real quick. And we are going to surround it. We are dropping archers too soon, it seems. So this Dark Elixir is only behind, it seems, two layers of walls, which I think we could get pretty easily with our king and queen at the end with a maybe a rage spell, and maybe we won't even need it. I haven't watched this replay in a while, so I don't know. So we're going to start off deploying everywhere. This is also a really good base with tons of gold and tons of dark elixir. So that's why I took it. Uh, and uh, Yeah, look at that. All the gold swords are on the edge. So that's why I love farming Champions League. Nobody cares. Everyone wants trophies. And so if you can just come and bully those guys, it, it's, it's great. So already at 40, 45%, wow, taking two gold storages. We're working on the, the one on the left, the third one. That's going down pretty fast. Distracting that wizard tower for a little bit with one archer at a time, and now we're working on that last gold storage on the right, right there. Archers are hitting a wall, and they break through, and they are definitely in range of things. So we're going to drop our last five archers and our last eight minions to try to take that out. And yep, we took it out, and that got us to 51%. So we already got that sweet, sweet bonus. Oh, I was wrong. Look at that. If we deployed right there, yeah, there's only one layer of walls between us and that Dark Elixir. So we're going to activate the King's ability while he gets low. Skeleton Trap going off. The Queen's going to get distracted a little bit. King's taking all the damage. Queen's going to go in. Giant Bomb's getting set off. Not hurting the Queen at all, which is great. Queen is out of range of everything but that one gold cannon, which is barely doing anything. She's going to hit that clan castle forever because those things have so much health and we're going to activate the ability to get her some health back and take out that Dark Elixir storage fast and get out of there. So just like that, we got 400,000 gold and 3,000 Dark Elixir, which with bonus comes out to 580,000 gold and 4,200 Dark Elixir. So that's why I love farming champions. The bonus is just so great. It's fantastic. Alright guys, let's jump into the second raid here. This one, it seems like this guy has no resources at all except for Dark Elixir. So that's why we're going to attack him. It does seem like it's going to be pretty difficult to get the 50%. We're just looking for things that we can 
pick off right now and then we're deploying there to see if there's any giant bombs there that will be a problem later so it seems like those minions are in the range are in the range of those archer towers that archer definitely is in range and we're gonna just speed up picking all these things off and then we're gonna start deploying a little bit here we're gonna use about half our archer I yeah I think we get left with 120 I, I keep blinking, I can't tell if that's my recording cutting out or it's me blinking. Alright, so we are left with 120 archers with one lightning spell, one rage spell, one free spell, our queen, clan castle, and five minions. And we are only at 26%, so I don't see how we could possibly win this. Honestly, I was doubting myself, but I still wanted that dark elixir for myself and for the purpose of this video. So we're going to drop our clan castle and just spam, I think, half our archers here. No little under half. And deploy our queen and a rage spell. So some of the wizards from our clan castle and some of the archers are going to go around, which is perfect because we need some extra percent. Some archers are going to go up in front and take the damage from that wizard tower while the rest take out the dark elixir sword and like that. We are at 41%. We're going to drop a few more archers there to help take out that elixir storage. And it seems like... Yes, is that, yeah, that's a level 7 giant and a level 5 golem in the clan castle, so that's perfect. If he had witches in there, we'd be screwed if we didn't get that right lightning off. So we're going to drop our last 5 minions that can't get hit by anything at the moment. They're going to help us take out that giant and those golemites. And it doesn't seem like the queen's in range of anything, so this should be pretty easy. And we still have a lightning spell in case we need it. So we're gonna, we still have 60 archers, we're going to drop them there down to 38 archers, 46%. Drop more archers there, take out that cannon, which takes a little bit longer because they have that increased health from the last update. And the archer queen is going to take out that air defense, and then that air defense is going to get in range of that wizard tower. And it's she's just going to hit a wall, so we're going to end it. And no resources but 3,000 dark elixir. So that's what we want. That's what you got to do. You got to just go for the people that you see is pretty easy to get their dark elixir. You got to break in there. Got to use whatever army you can. Try to get that 50% for the bonus because this turned from 3,000 to 4,200 dark elixir, which is huge just for winning. And that's, and that's about it. All right, guys, I think we found a raid. He seems like he's a pretty... I will really want to say easy 50%. Um, but we'll find out because he has wizard towers on the edge. So he does have those mortars tucked back. So I think if we just lightning spell that one, we should be okay. And then we still have one lightning spell for the clan castle. And he has just under 4,000 dark elixir. And it's all on the edge as well. So if we can just shoot over the wall with these archers real quick. Hopefully we don't hit any big bombs, which I think we might end up doing. Oh, no, they're just bombs and spring traps. So, we didn't really place very heavily yet. I'm just trying to get these outside buildings, trying to hit some bombs if I can, before I de uh, deploy the bulk of my archers. So, I don't think I mentioned it yet, but if you're going to be farming Dark Elixir, you should really figure out an army that works for you. Again, you want one that can get 50% if you're farming Master and above, and you really want one that doesn't use a lot of Dark Elixir, if any, at all. So, sorry, I'm just thinking real quick on where to deploy what. So it looks like we're going to get that Dark Elixir storage. So yeah, you don't want to be using like Balloon Unit or Bam if you're going to be farming Dark Elixir. You could, however, bring, you know, maybe like four minions if you want to like kill skeleton traps that are on the ground or something. Or maybe someone has like giants in his clan castle you want to take that out or hogs for no reason. So, let's see, well, we're going to deploy the queen right there. She's going to take that dark elixir. I think I'm going to drop a lightning spell on that dark elixir drill just because I can. And then we're going to win that gun. Okay, yep. We're going to use the queen's ability. She's going to hit a wall and we're going to end it. And just like that, 3,808 dark elixir. And plus 1200 from the bonus, so we get a sweet 5k dark elixir. So it's really not that hard. I'll see you guys once again once I find another raid. 
guys, I think we found it, the final raid of this video. This seems like a pretty easy one, 3200 available Dark Elixir. All his storage is outside except for that Dark Elixir storage, which is very vulnerable. And his clan castle is right here. So it, it's empty, oh my gosh. That's fantastic. So I don't know what the lightning spell. I I guess I'll just keep them. <laughs> All right, let's just let's spam. Do an archer raid. Right? Okay, so there's a giant bomb. That was a good one. All right, so I guess that means we gotta go back and it's void there. And now I'm gonna spread some archers out. Check for big mob. Okay. So look at me, I got one out. Oh, okay. There was another one. Nice. Okay, we've taken almost all of the loot. All that's left, it seems, is that dark elixir storage, and there's two gold storages there. So, let's see what we gotta do. We got a lightning spell that. Okay, that was close. That actually got me nervous that we wouldn't get it. And we're gonna lightning spell. Actually, we'll save that lightning spell. Okay, we're gonna take out those two skeletons real quick. They're dead, and we definitely want that dark elixir, so we're going to deploy. Let's see. Uh, Clan castle. One, two, three. Let's see. Okay. We come in some wizards. Lucky us, our clan woke up. And 48%. We're gonna take out that Tesla. Take out that oh wizard tower. Take out that queen. We're gonna hit that mortar for some reason. I'm gonna just gonna let my queen die. I've been searching long enough, she'll be alive. And we're gonna hit that gold storage a couple more times. So that's it for this raid. We're gonna end it. Let's see what we got. Okay, decent golden elixir with the bonus. It comes out to over 600k, I believe. And uh, 3,266 dark elixir with bonus 4,466. So that was a great raid. So, guys, that's it for this video. That's an easy way to farm dark elixir. Just got to find the right army, the right trophy count, and got to get that 50% for the bonus. So, I hope this helped you guys. And I'll see you guys next time.